faster you can kill those brutes, the better. They don't have shield generators, but take them out before... It's berserking! No, get up! has infiltrated the council chamber? Protect the hierarchs! Seal the exits! Oh, I don't think so. down on one of the pedestals near the door. That prophet, Truth, he has the index. You've got to take it from him. Let me get these doors. Go, it'll be easier to track Truth if I stay in the network.
Truth is moving through the lower levels of the tower. I'll reverse this grab lift. Drop down, try to cut him off. It's safe, really. Just step in. Force all approaches to the holy pits. Slay the demon on sight. Beeping up their patrols. Stay sharp. your position. somewhere below your position. in the next room. Jump in! There are two groups of Marines in this detention block. I'll zero their locations. You neutralize the guards. Quietly.
outside. Careful of the guards.
The elites have failed to protect the profits, and in so doing put all our lives at risk. Let no warrior forget his oath. Thou and Fae will keep us safe whilst we find it. I've got a fix on truth just outside this tower here. There's an exit nearby, hurry. Blessing the brutes now lead our feet. They ask for your allegiance, and you shall give it. You wouldn't believe the number of kills the ships the Covenant are throwing down around me. Not to worry, it's pretty sloppy stuff. I guess they never expected a hostile attack to penetrate their network from the inside. Whereas most species were grafted into the Covenant by faith or mutual beneficence, the Ungoi were not such. Their kind was brought into the fold by force, and it was by force that they were held captive. Their world had no prayer against our might and majesty, and their peoples were quickly laid low, many of them brought into subjugation.
Yet while some species would perish under such pressure, others rise to the occasion, taking arms if need be, fighting back. Such it was for the Ungoy when their feud with the Kigyar led to rebellion. An effort by the Kigyar to sterilize the Ungoy population was met with stiff resistance. And for a time, the holy city was thrown into chaos. Once fully provoked, the Ungoy were merciless in their violence, lashing out at all species. Their large numbers and their tenacious volatility made them a suitable challenge, even for the elites. And yet again, we turned to an arbiter. And with a ferocity unparalleled since the beginning of the Covenant, the Ungoy world would be reduced to glass. Those within the Holy City would be forced to watch, unable to stop what could have been the very end of their kind. The Ungoy Rebellion was brought to an end by the Arbiter's hand. Their world was not completely lost, and those who survived within high charity found some measure of mercy. They had proven their worth in combat and would now serve alongside the Sangheili in battle.
I have listened to the offer. I think it confirmed our deepest hope. The great journey begins with me.
picking up two more transponders. It's the commander and Johnson. They're closing on two position teams. They'll need your help.
You might consider sitting this one out. of flood leaving in Amberclad's wreckage. Let's get the index and find a way out of here before things get really ugly. Split them up. One in each phantom. of all the Covenant rest on your shoulders, Chieftain. My faith is strong. I will not fail. Let him be. The great journey waits for no one, brother. Not even you. Thank you.
Right. 